Hello everyone, this is Adam Plus 124 here, guys. Today I'm going to bring Revelations 11 from the Yeah, so it's an awesome news and if you read If you guys are going to be long, you guys can, you know, probably just talk more, you guys can, you know, my one of the guys isn't that. But let's go and get started. Revelations 11, you know, so it's an NIV version. The two witnesses. I was given a read like a measuring rod and, and was told, go and measure, measure the temple of God and the altar with its worshippers, but exclude the outer court. Do not measure it because it has been given to the Gentiles. They will trample on the holy city for 42 months, and I'll appoint my two witnesses. And they will they will prophesy for 126, eh, 1260 days, clo clothed in sackcloth. They are the two olive trees and the two lampstands, and they stand before the Lord of the earth. If, if anyone tries to harm them, fire comes from their mouths and devours their enemies. This is how anyone who wants to harm them must die. They have power to shut up the heavens so they will not rain during the time they are prophesying. And they have power to turn the waters into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they want. Now when they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will attack them and overpower and kill them. Their bodies will lie in the public square of the great city, which is figuratively called Sodom in Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified for three and a half days, some from every people. Tribal anguish and nation will gaze on their bodies and, refu and refuse them burial. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and will celebrate by sending each other gifts, because these two prophets had tormented those who live who live on the earth. But after the three and a half, but after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them. And they stood on their feet, and terror struck those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, "Come up here." And they went up to heaven, and a cloud while their enemies looked on. At that very hour, there was a severe earthquake, and a tenth of the city collapsed. 7,000 people were killed in the earthquake, and the survivors were terrified, and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe has passed, the third woe is coming soon. The seventh trumpet, the seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, which said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord, and of his Messiah, and he will reign forever and ever. And the 24 elders who were seated on the thrones before God, fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry, with you, and your wrath has come. The time has come for judging the dead and re for rewarding your servants to prophets, and your people who revere your name, both great and small, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and within his temple was seen the ark of his covenant, and there came flashes of lightnings, rumblings, Heels of thunder, an earthquake, and a severe hailstorm. Okay, guys, I apologize if I may sound a bit sick or something like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.